hello hello guys uh it's a bongi from ppv anyway i hope you are all okay let's continue with our lesson number two i think so i think it's lesson number two okay our lesson number two uh still the same guys the information is provided by i should them in uh i don't know these guys exactly but i'm sure they are from india or somewhere somewhere around there i'm not sure if they are still operating or not and uh, as i've mentioned before if you want their information you can check on my first video so, uh, you will have their whatsapp number and some other information anyway i'm not interested in, in that here is my interest showing you how the laptop works according to them of which is correct uh, i don't see anything wrong with their book or guide it seems nice that's why i'm sharing it with you guys let's go ahead let's see okay uh continue we have the power supply the dc bed b plus plus is 18 volts or 19 volts it's normally 19 volts and 20 volts in, in uh some lenovo's but anyway it doesn't matter whether it's 19 18 or 20 it doesn't matter at all but here's the issue i mean here's the thing let's continue you will have the main 19 volts there on top all right this is how the 19 volts will be separated the 19 volts will be split this will be split into this section uh one 19 volts will go to a, a string the string backlight needs the 19 volts and then this 19 volts is converted into uh 22 volts 30 volts 50 volts uh converted into a higher voltage for what for backlight let's continue another 19 volts goes into a step down number one step down number one uh straight what straight 3.3 volts and uh, five volts using what using the 19 volts and this voltage is always on that's why it says always voltage always on the moment you connect the charger you will have this voltages without pressing the power button before power on as they wrote there before power on if we get this voltage 3.3 volts and 5 volts okay. then after pressing the power button you will have what you will have 3.3 v source this is a suspended voltage you'll get this 3.3 afterwards after pressing the power button this one the 3.3 uh v s u s which is suspend voltage suspend and you will have the the 5 volts suspend and then, let me let me explain the entire thing works let's say for instance when the machine is off you don't wanna you don't want your fan to work i mean to spin right exact your fan will only spin afterwards after pressing the power button but when the machine is off the fan won't spin but you'll have what the 3.3 volts always and 5 volts always and again on some computers the usb ports won't work the machine is off until you press the power button then you will get that five volt that voltage you get after pressing the power button is called five volts suspended i'm not sure if i do make any sense okay for example when you connect a charge the moment you connect the charge what do you get you get 3.3 volts always and five volts always that's all your ram won't work your cpu won't work why because the machine is off the moment you press the power button then you will have some other power supplies more important this 3.3 volts are uh, suspended and 5 volts suspended are very important after pressing the power button because they supply some other things for example the hard drive when the machine is off you want your hard drive off right exactly the hard drive power to come from where from 5 volts suspended this comes from 5 volts suspended I'm not sure if you get my point but that's it guys it works like this let's continue and after that you will have the run voltage step down number two this is number two step down number two it goes to cpu ram pch and some other thing after pressing the power button but more important this 3.3 volts suspended and 5 volts suspended are very important when you check when you are fixing a motherboard make sure you get them after pressing the power button otherwise you won't have this 1.8 you won't have all these other power rates without these voltages these things goes like this it's a pattern it goes like this guys 
Okay. Okay, let's continue. After that, the 19 volts goes to where? Go to GFX core. Okay, and still, they use those PWMs. We switch those two MOSFETs to give you what? A lower voltage, 1.2 volts, 1 volt to 1.2 volts. And, this, and again, the CPU thing, same, same case as well. And this is so simple. This is so simple. This is how the 19 volts split it. So easy and so simple. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'll see you on my on my next video. Sharp sharp.